But how do you trade war proof a portfolio? Well, you know, it's funny because it's going to be difficult, uh, obviously, because uh, a lot of these stocks uh, uh, have see, already seen a lot of downside. So it's, one of my things is, it, is to worry about is that some of these stocks have gotten so oversold. Like, you know, if you asked me two days ago about Cat Tractor, I would say definitely avoid the stock. But now it's fallen uh, another 8 to 10% over the last couple of days. Uh, so you might see some uh, bounces here. The thing is, though, is I'm going to look at the stocks that have had the most uh, – uh, you know, seen the most trouble. I mean, uh, on the one hand, you, mean, you look at two stocks, it's kind of interesting. You look at Wind Resorts and Las Vegas Sands, which reports tomorrow night. These stocks are down more than 30%. Uh, Wind's down almost uh, almost 40%. And, and these are the type of names where I think a lot of bad news is already priced in. So you want to look at those stocks uh, rather than some of the others. I mean, I will say, however, that one that has hold, held up pretty well is Boeing. Uh, now, there's a big concern there because they have some contracts coming up next year. Uh, but the thing is, we know that the, the government is, is very, the U.S. government, that is, very uh, tightly held to the uh, uh, defense industry, and they want to keep those contracts coming. So I think that whenever the negotiations really start, you know, uh, <clears throat> hitting the, you know, the rubber meets the road, uh, Boeing's going to come out better than, than uh, I think a lot of people think. So I think that stock will hold up well as, uh, as, All as well. Right. Okay, so BA, Boeing is what you're talking about, and you're saying that uh, the Trump administration, regardless of what happens with this trade war, even if it does escalate, is going to find a way to bubble wrap uh, uh, Boeing. Uh, uh, Wynn, the other uh, name you talked about earlier, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, among all listed public companies uh, stateside, it is the one with the most exposure, most heavily exposed, derives most of its revenue, more revenue than any other name, from China. How... Uh, trade war proof is that when you've got a slowing economy and layered uh, and tariffs layered on top of that? Well, it's kind of funny because you know, there's, there's no question that you, there's some risk, there's some definite risk involved in this one. And, and uh, uh, but the, the thing is, as a former trader, I try to look at it and see what's already been priced into the stock and, and how far the stock has already come down, how much has been washed out of the name. I mean, obviously, it had a, it's had some bad news even away from the, the China situation in the last year or two. A lot of that news, I'm sorry, a lot of that news has been priced into the stock. Uh, you know, I mean, I just remember thinking about the oil stocks back in, uh, in, in uh, uh, the summer of 2017 or the healthcare stocks. Uh, you know, it, it, this past uh, spring, everybody thought that they were going down. They had sold off so much, all the bad news was already priced in. Uh, and uh, so even though I think this whole thing with, with China is going to spread, it's going to be spread out over time, I do think they're going to work something out. And you got to look at the stocks where uh, um, they haven't come down as much. And, you know, you look at a General Motors, which is a little oversold near term, but they're selling four, billion, you know, four million shares, four million cars in, the U in China each year. And like you said, with their economy slowing down, I'm a little bit worried about what they're going to do there. So uh, it is definitely a more of a risky play. But uh, uh, again, um, the trader in me tells me uh, you have a little bit more, a better chance of making money there. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.